Hey folks, this is Brad with PCMac.com and today we're going to show you how to speed up Windows 10 with a tool called Ultimate Windows Tweaker 4.1. Uh, it's also commonly referred to as UWT. Uh, what this tool does is it is basically a gr the group policy editor and the registry editor all in one. Uh, so you don't have to go through uh, searching through files and different options to find out what you want to disable, enable, get rid of, and so on. Uh, Ultimate Windows Tweaker will just uh, let you do all that right from this interface here. Um, you can also, aside from uh, performance, you can also do some small things like removing the taskbar or buttons on the taskbar, uh, action center, you know, network specific icons. Uh, but as far as actual performance goes, um, you can go down to this uh, performance tab and actually start disabling things that take up uh, a lot of system resources, um, such as the Windows Security Center or uh, tablet input or you know the printer spooling service. Uh, you can disable those, and those will. Um, speed up, help speed up your computer, free up resources for your computer to use. Um, one thing that you can actually do is in uh, se under security and privacy, uh, you can disable some other things like Windows Update Service. Um, so when you disable that, uh, you th won't be automatically downloading Windows updates anymore. So if that was a problem for you, you can disable that. Uh, you can also disable the Windows Store, the Mobility Center, uh, disable the changing of wallpaper, uh, even Windows Defender, which I'd actually recommend, uh, and choose a uh, different antivirus software. Uh, you can disable OneDrive, uh, you know, just a ton of different things. Uh, there's a lot you can do with uh, Internet Explorer and the context menu, and then there's a bunch of additional options as well. Somewhere in here, you can actually uh, disable Cortana, which I forgot where that was at. Um, one thing I will note is that while this tool is a bit more beginner friendly, uh, you should, before you even start applying different uh, actions, uh, you should create a restore point. Now, when you first open the program, uh, it actually creates a restore point for you. But if you want to create one on your own, you can just click this button here or go in your settings and create one. Um, I already have one created, so I won't be doing that. Um, another thing is uh, you should always do some research before uh, going through and applying different selections. Uh, you never know uh, what could go wrong particularly if you're a beginner and not very familiar with Windows and how it all works together. Uh, for instance, if you disable Cortana, uh, there's a lot of applications or uh, background services that aren't going to work because they depend on Cortana and so on. And then there's a lot of other similar apps like that uh, that depend on another uh, s application or background service to run. Uh, but uh, if you're going to tweak something, uh, you know, there are over, I believe there are over 200 different options here. But if you're going to tweak something, it's as simply as clicking a box and pressing the apply button. Uh, and of course, you can always click on restore defaults, which I believe only works when, when you uh, are first in the application. And so. If you want to go back after you apply everything and close out the application and don't come back for like five days, you'll actually probably have to go through the restore point to go back to your original settings. And yeah, that's all there is to it. Uh, Windows Tweaker, it's a really neat tool. Um, if you're someone who doesn't like Windows Update uh, or taking that uh, freedom of updates away from you in, this, uh, in Windows 10, uh, you can disable that. Uh, if you don't like the Windows Store, you can disable that and free up resources for other things that you're doing. Uh, there's a lot of customization here. Uh, obviously, we can't go over every last thing, uh, but uh, I'd you know I'd encourage you to download this. Uh, we'll include a link in the description below uh, to the 
uh, download page and then uh, we'll also include a link in the description below to a more detailed article over on our website what uh, Windows Tweaker can do so yeah uh, you know give it a download try it out uh, make sure do your research before uh, going through and just randomly ticking boxes and applying them uh, you'll want to make uh, educated decisions here for sure uh, yeah that's it I've been Barrett with PCMac.com and until next time